What makes Michigan so good on the floor, Alicia? Honestly, it's the combination of their great showmanship in their dance. Gino has a little too much power, unfortunately, over rotates for one and a half, but they will be able to drop that score and count the th first five balls that they competed. So Gugino, her score will be dropped. And that means that the lowest score for Michigan in the rotation was a 9-8-5 for high school offset by the Gabby Wilson perfect 10. Childs with a fan. Five more to go. On bars with the Jaeger to immediate overshoot. Double layup just not too late. I mean, I think that was a stick, but there might have been a slight hop there, but that was a very clean and well done bar routine. She had 11 routines of 9 9 or better this year. Hitting that handstand perfectly. Does some giants to build momentum for that double layout. Perfectly straight body. And she does not move, just gets her heels together. You are allowed to slide your heels together and that does not count as a deduction on a landing. Jordan Childs on the beam right now for UCLA. Okay, a little wobble there. Ariel. It's coming down to this last rotation between the bottom left and the top right, Michigan and UCLA. Jordan goes out with a double pike. Very Stefan Meiser, uh, just before her, was a 9-3-5. That's the one they'll need to drop. Beam dismount. Jordan Childs for UCLA, the Olympic medalist, opens up with a big double layout in the floor exercise. And she's saying she's not done yet. She's going to be focusing on the world's next. I think the ability to compete both in the NCAA and Elite it gives an athlete a unique perspective because they're used to competing every weekend, which builds consistency and confidence. And then you get that world recognition and then work on these bigger, more difficult skills. You get the best of both worlds. Two to go in this first rotation. Jordan Childs can run in right at you. Closing out with a big double pipe. <laughs> Crowd 